Hey everyone, welcome to Two Car Bros. My name is Ryan. Today we're going to be unboxing or uncrating a Chevy 350 from Blueprint Engines. So on this channel I've shown how to build a bunch of different engines. I don't typically buy engines via a crate system. I more or less just take engines out and rebuild them, remachine them, put them back together. It's a whole process. It does take quite some time. But what if you didn't want to do that and instead you wanted to just buy an engine and put it in your truck and hit go? That's essentially what we're going to be doing here today. But, but first we need to take it out of its crate. I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like, how to do it, and what comes inside of the box. So like I said, this is from Blueprint Engines. The part number is BP3505CTC, which, which I believe that means it's a 350 with a carburetor and it's not fuel injected, which is good because it's going to a carbureted truck. So the very first thing we need to do is grab a very long prying implement. This is my best friend in the whole world, or crowbar, and just put it on the top and get the top out of there. And inspect your crate for damage. If there is any damage on the crate, do not accept shipment. It would be a real bummer to have a problem with the engine because of shipping. Ooh. <laughs> that looks pretty sweet. And then we need to bust the sides off. Why is this giving me flashbacks? I don't know. And then do be careful, these staples can get ya. <laughs> I'm like a kid on Christmas. And here comes the big moment. Cut the zip tie and unveil the beast. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that beauty. Woo. So here's kind of the top of it, what it looks like. And here's a couple of things that I wasn't sure were in the ad or not. I couldn't really figure out whether it had that or not. It does come with your PCV and it is already hooked to the back of the vacuum on the carburetor. It comes with your oil cap. So you don't need to order one of those. It comes with all this associated literature, which we're going to go over in just a moment. And it does come with a distributor. And this distributor looks like, to me, it looks like a Holly Street Fire, although I don't know if that is for sure or not. Might be a knockoff, which is perfectly fine. It probably works awesome. And it has the coil included because it's HEI, which is super, super cool. It has a zip tie, little note here to tell you how to find how to set the distributor, although it already is set, it is basically drop in ready because it's already been dyno tuned. We know how much power this thing makes. So we should be able to put it on our engine crane and drop it in the truck. Two other things I wasn't sure came with this particular engine and that is a dipstick, which it does have, and a breather again, which it does have. But it looks like you are gonna need a fuel pump if you plan on running a mechanical fuel pump and some spark plugs, which is totally fine, more than capable of handling all of that. And then a Holly Brawler four barrel with a choke comes on our top of our engine as the crowning jewel. I've run these carburetors before. They're more of a budget friendly line, but they work excellent so i think it's going to be an excellent choice for our truck so let's go over what came in our paperwork it was in this envelope uh, the first thing i noticed was it came with a seal for the top of the carburetor for the air filter as an advertisement for extending your warranty it's probably a smart idea and to put this in the glove box so you're gonna need this if you have an emissions control state that lets you put cool stuff and old stuff and then we have our brawler carburetor manual and there's all kinds of very interesting things in there they basically treat it as if you just bought this carburetor and we're going to put it on of your engine i think this is a 650 cfm which is plenty for what we're going to be running on this engine and then what i consider to be the exciting bit which is the dyno these engines are dynoed before they ship them out and we can see that it made on 2 22 24 it made 392 horsepower and 421 foot-pounds of torque, which is absolutely amazing. So it made the torque figure at 4,000 RPM and it made the horsepower figure at about 5,800 RPM, which is more than this engine would probably ever be weighing to. And there's the torque curves from the dyno cell if you're interested in looking at those. Looks like a very standard, typical small block Chevy torque and horsepower curve. And I'm excited to hear what it sounds like. And then before we install this into anything, it's a good idea to just remove the cap from the distributor. 
because you don't want it to break off. That would be a total bummer. Or it could af affect your sight or your um, firewall. That would be a bummer too. So this just takes a Phillips head screwdriver. There we go. And then we just need to unplug the coil from the distributor like that or the vacuum line. And then we can just remove the cap and it can be just like that and exposed. We don't need to remove the distributor from the actual engine. We just need the cap off. And then as much as I don't want to, it's probably a good idea to remove our carburetor, maybe even our PCV, but I'll let that hang out for now. And the reason that is, is because when you're installing an engine, the uh, load leveler or whatever you're using to put it into the engine bay uh, might begin in the way and you really don't want this to bonk in anything or be damaged in any way. So it might happen to be 12 millimeter. Holding on the fasteners. There we go. And then pay really close attention to where you remove those nuts because there's washers and the washer wants to come off as soon as you remove the carburetor. And once you remove the carburetor, there's nothing stopping that washer from going down into your brand new engine, which would be a huge bummer. There we go. There we go, all four washers removed. And then we can just take our carburetor and move it straight up just like that. I'm also gonna take our gasket as well. And then before you do anything else in your life, go ahead and get some tape and put it over the opening into the intake manifold. I like this Scotch Blues painter's tape. Seems to work pretty good and come off clean. Just like that, that'll prevent any mishaps, you know, random bolt, washer, whatever, falling down in there and ruining your brand new engine, which would be a total bummer. So let's go over what it does and doesn't have a little bit more in depth. Like we mentioned earlier, you are gonna need a mechanical fuel pump. Doesn't come with that. It doesn't come with our harmonic damper here in any one of those. All the front accessories, including the water pump, the water neck, there are provisions for block offs for the water passages if you're worried about that. Again, it comes with a PCV cap, breather, dip tube, distributor, carburetor already removed as you saw, and you're going to need a flex plate or flywheel depending. And the other thing I couldn't really find an answer for online was if it came with the oil filter adapter. So on old Chevys, they need this adapter or else you can't use the newer canister style oil filters. But this one looks just right and it is ready for the more modern updated filter design. Also take a look at your oil pan. Is your oil pan gonna be a problem? I don't think so in ours. It looks very similar to our stock oil pans. So we might be able to get away with just putting it in. But if not, putting on an oil pan is not that big of a deal. So there you go, blueprint engine, nice and unboxed, looks like a million bucks. So that is what to expect when you unbox or uncrate your crate motor. This was a lot of fun, just unboxing something that wasn't like a phone or a piece of technology. It's something really big in a big box. That was a ton of fun. This engine is ready to go in the truck and make noise, which is super, super fun. So a crate engine is an awesome way to get your hot rod back on the road nice and lickety split. The shipping took two days, which blew me away. I actually ordered some other things as well, and those showed up after the engine, so that's kind of funny. And between you and me, you don't really need to put the engine on a stand. You can just go from the uh, box to the crane into the truck. I just put on the stand for instructional purposes to show you more or less what comes with or without the engine. I couldn't really find online whether or not it like had that oil filter adapter, for instance. So now you know everything that comes with this specific engine and kind of getting your feet wet about what it takes to really get a crate engine. And you don't need a business address to get a crate engine. They are perfectly comfortable, at least with Summit Racing, to drop off an engine via your home address. They had a lift gate and everything. So do not be afraid of that or like a shipping freight surcharge. There wasn't any. It was free shipping, if you can believe that. And it's a super, super easy and fun way to get your hot rod back on the road with a new engine, especially if you don't want to take the time to rebuild your old one. Or maybe you don't even have one. You got a truck or a car that just didn't have an engine to begin with. This is an awesome alternative. And the link is located down below in the description if you want to check out this exact engine that I just unboxed. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or interesting at all, please consider giving it a like or even subscribing. It really helps my channel out. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.